Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Jason Freeman. I'd like to welcome you out to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna take you to Bristol, England. We're gonna talk about the Edward Colston controversy and I'm gonna show you around a bit. Now at any point, feel free to click the notification bell or subscribe to my channel to get more content. So without further ado, let's begin. thing about the plaque is it says nothing about what Edward Colston did. All right so I am gonna just take a little bit of a walk and uh, see if I see my students around um, and I'm just gonna head over to where the bus is located as well so it's kind of just a little bit of a walk right now uh, just exploring a little bit. I'm heading more towards like the city center um, again the see the canal right here so the canal is kind of the center part so it was raining earlier so um, I'm happy to see that it is has cleared a significant amount hopefully, yeah. we're, hopefully we're done with the rain all right so I'm letting you kind of see so a little rain so Beacon Tower used to be called um, Colston Tower. So Colston, I think Edward Colston was kind of a main philanthropist in this area. And so he gave a lot of money, um, support a lot of people in this area. Oh, sorry, in Beacon Tower. The issue though, is that he was, um, he profited significantly from the slave trade. Um, I think that it was said that he was like the number two person of the um, Africa company. Um, which was a major company that traded in slaves in uh, the 1600s. All right, so I'm just kind of walking down. I'm also just looking at where I'm going. So I'm looking at the vehicle over here. Um, so I'm taking a bit of a walk. I have to be back by 4.30, so I can't go too far. But I just wanted to use a bit of this time to um, get out and about and see the city kind of on my own a bit. Um, so we had a tour this morning again. Um, our tour guide Rob did a great job. Um, I'll show a little bit of him. I used to see a little bit of his a video from him earlier. But I just again want to kind of go to some of these same areas and kind of talk uh, about it. So I'm happy it's not as cold. Um, it was freezing this morning. Freezing and raining. So it's definitely gotten a lot better. Um, heading over to this monument here almost running something. Uh, heading to this monument here. So, uh, there you go. So they don't fall over. So, um, definitely the ocean is a big part of the economy here. So this is a sculpture of Neptune. Um, yep, yeah, so sailors, the whole mythology and all that stuff. So. Seventeen twenty three. Oh, pretty interesting. Let's see. I'm coming to another monument here. All right. So I think I'm on the right, right track. Okay. So there's okay, Burke here. I'm sure we can. So I can find some info on him. Um, now he has not been, his monument has not been torn down. So I'm assuming he's not associated with the slave trade, but who knows? Maybe they just haven't gotten to him yet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna continue my walk a bit. But yeah, um, so one of my big things is I'm trying not to overwhelm the students. So we're covering a lot, a lot of very heavy, heavy material. 
Um, and I, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk to them a little bit just to kind of let, let, have them let me know if they feel overwhelmed because there's a lot of stuff. Um, and we're heading up north to Leeds and Newcastle. And so that's more Roman. And so hopefully that gets us away from slavery a bit and gets us um, to a less traumatic um, set of uh, you know, amount of information. So is there, and I don't want to overwhelm them. Um, so that is Beacon Tower. So um, Colston was again the um, Colston was the benefactor, the philanthropist that gave a lot of money to Bristol. And so this used to be uh, Colston Tower. Now it's Beacon Tower. It's, it's been renamed. Um, similar to what we see in the U.S. with like Confederate and like slaveholders, um, those monuments have kind of come down. Those things, those names have been changed. And there's a big debate about you know is that really the best way or you know should we um, maybe uh, have keep these things in place to um, actually um, you know learn about the history because if you take away those things will the history be lost and I, I don't know I mean I grew up with the confederate flag and I did not like seeing it <laughs> and so I'm happy to get rid of that aspect of history um, and so even though even if that's not even if it's removed um, I know it's you know it still happened and I you know I definitely don't want to see those type of things on a day-to-day -day basis so this is um, where the monument stood for Colston. Um, it was ripped down in 2020. I'm gonna put some video, uh, I'm gonna cut some video, kind of show of uh, some of what happened so you can kind of see it. But this is the aftermath, this is what's left. All right, so um, the statue was standing there, it was taken down, it was um, that back on. All right, so I'm gonna walk around a little bit more just to see a little bit more of the city. Uh, of Bristol. It's still a little chilly out here. So this is interesting. So a little bit of graffiti up here. They want to take this down too. I have no idea what this is. So, but, um, so the poppies are a symbol um, of like with uh, veterans. Um, symbol of like memorial. So I'm not gonna walk up here. I'm just gonna look. Um, so I'm not. Yeah, you know, I don't know if I want to even put it on on camera. I'm just gonna read. It's a, a monument here. So I'm not gonna again put it on camera here. So this is. I'm looking at a memorial to um, World War One and World War Two. So I'm actually not gonna put it on camera. I'm mean, again. I'm just looking at it here. So um, yeah, just out of respect. So, but it's uh, in the middle. If you look uh, Google on in uh, Bristol. There is a war memorial, and you can see what it looks like. But again, I'm not gonna put it on camera. All right. You're probably getting some wind noise. It's not, it didn't feel so windy, but it's definitely wind noise. I'm just coming over here because there's some amazing piece of art right here. So I'm gonna try to get this on, oops, try to get this on camera as much as possible. So a lot of really interesting people are from Bristol. Uh, I'm gonna look this up. I think Banksy, he was mentioned. <laughs> um, David Olusaga, who wrote the book um, on black British history that we're using for the course, he is living here. And so uh, I learned that today. Um, but yeah, this is a really interesting art piece. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Ah, this is huge, by the way. I'm gonna put some perspective on this in a second. All right, you can kind of sit behind me. Yes, yeah, on the side of this, I mean, it's a huge building, so a huge piece of art. So I'm sure it took a lot of time and a lot of talent to get that up there. So I think it's really cool. Um, I have no idea um, who did it or um, if it was in some way sanctioned, but it's really interesting looking art piece. Some more graffiti around the city. Um, yeah. Kind of tempted about going for a walk in this, this area here and then heading back because I don't want to, I just don't want to be late. So I'm just going to walk over here a bit. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to walk over here, make sure I'm looking. Okay. All right. I'm just going to take a little, little jaunt this way. I have no idea what's back here. <laughs> Just exploring. Um, don't want to go too far though. 
interesting. A lot of alleys. Alleyways. Okay. So I'm actually gonna just go a little further up and then turn around. Okay. Interesting. I really don't know how far to go. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting little area in Bristol. I'm assuming this is, this definitely feels like off the beaten path. All right. I mean, thankfully I'm a fast walker, so I should get back to the bus on time. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you everything I can see over here. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, I was seeing this. So I'm assuming that's not a place that I should probably be going into right now as a professor at a university. <laughs> Just walking. <laughs> it's called Blame Glory. I'll stop there. I won't say anything else. Blame Glory. <laughs> I might not put that on my path. I have to I'm gonna look it up and if it's too too crazy, I'm not gonna not gonna put it in the video. <laughs> Alright, we can walk around the corner. Get a little out of breath. Right. Okay. Interesting. All right. So I'm gonna go around and then go back to where I came from. Um, I'm gonna have to be back in Millennium. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I can be back by 4:30. All right, I'm gonna head back right now. Okay. Right. I doubt I see any more students over here though. I'm assuming they're gonna stick more around the port area, or the port area, the dock area. Um, but I tend to like to explore a little bit more just to get a feel for the city. Especially since I'm probably gonna be coming back in about a year um, with the next group. Oh, okay. I got a text. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right here. All right, so I'm heading back to uh, Millennium Square. Um, so it's about 4.10, so I have about 20 minutes. Um, so I'm pretty sure I can get back there on time, but the bus should be waiting for us. Um, yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna be heading back. Um, supposed to be meeting a couple um, local scholars here um, who um, know a little bit more about the like oh yeah. um, a little bit more about the uh, toppling of the um, Colston monument so they'll give their perspectives on it but yeah let's get my bearings it's a Tesco Express yeah okay so I think I know, yeah. Yeah, this is where I came, so I know where I'm going. It's at the cross the street without getting hit. It's a society cafe, went there this morning. All right. Oh, perfect, perfect time. The little button here. Try not to get hit by a car. <laughs> I can get awesome. Okay. Always a plus, not getting hit. Yeah. So. I think doing a study abroad course is like juggling plates. <laughs> Knowing that you're going to break a couple. That's been kind of the big thing. I had a couple of working plates today. But. I think it's. Yeah. It's work for the most part. So as always, if you found any of this interesting and or informative, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video. If you wanna learn more about Edward Colston or Bristol in general, please leave those questions in the comment section below. Thank you all for your time and have a wonderful rest of your day.